Blueprint song. Oh, sometimes it snows in April. Ooh, I, I ain't never heard nobody say that. Yeah, sometimes it snows in April. That's one of them Prince songs right there. You had to go look that up. That's somebody that really loves music to say something like that. Yeah. I don't even want to tell you what mine is. <laughs> mine was so surface. <laughs> Lessons. I'm the flow is of flow tree and I'm here chilling with this is 50.com. All you gotta do is say no if you don't want me this close to you. Why would they believe it? Natalie Stewart, yes. the flow assist. That is I. And I am the ho assist. What's going on? Host assist. Yeah, come on with the most assist. Indeed assist. Come on. <laughs> so how you doing today? I'm blessed. And I give thanks. Man, I'm so happy to be sitting here with you. I'm happy to be sitting here with you. Everyone, why is everyone warning me? Why is everyone like, yo, yo, yo? Hey, man, you know what? I, don't, I really don't understand what that is either. Yeah, it's a party. Yeah. You're going to learn today. I say what's on my mind. So so do I. Yeah. So this should be a pretty nice conversation. When, when every interview that I ever looked at you in or on TV, it looked like you can handle yourself and you you don't need that. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. So it's just, it's just, I guess it's the way I look or something like that. Is that, that what you it's think? The it's, you it's, think the it's the eye. You think it's the eye? It's intimidating them. Well, you know, I have a birthmark in the same eye, so that might be why we come across a little bit harsh for people yeah, sometimes. Yeah, we just know what we want. Amen. You know, it, it help us see through the bush. Yeah. Yeah. Doing flow a tree again. Indeed. Man, everybody, you know what I'm saying, we're kind of confused. Y'all hadn't talked each other for like eight, nine years or something like that and whatnot. What was the problem? You know, it's so interesting. So many people want to know what's the problem. Mm -hmm. Like, and um, because it was a good thing. It is a good thing. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah, it wasn't a problem for us. Mm -hmm. It was a problem for everyone else because everyone else only knows this is flowery, and that's all anyone's interested in mm -hmm. is is what they know, which is understandable. I mean, you know, you get that. But y'all music was so big that it was like, even though y'all was together, is. Your, your music we, is because we so didn't big. we didn't put out a record that wasn't successful. Right. We didn't overstay our welcome. Right. We didn't use our audience and put out an album we didn't believe in. Right. When it was time for us, the mm -hmm. creative energies, the entrepreneurial minds behind Flow Tree to take a, a moment, we took a moment. Mm -hmm. um, now that obviously involved a lot of people because that's a lot of people who get percentages and so on and so forth when we're working. Mm, so together. it might have been a problem for them, mm. but for us, it was very, it was a very natural alignment. I got to learn some really incredible stuff about myself and my own abilities. I'm sure Marsha did the same, um, and, and we grew. We, we came into this world through separate rooms, you know. So it's normal for us to not just always be together. Mm. And what we've been enjoying about the tour, I think, is proof for us again, for me and Marsha, mm. that it was okay. You know, mm. we take a break. Um, I think the most difficult part of that was because you know we love as as, as Jamaicans say we love a little susu susu. So people like gossip. They they kind of like a more negative spin on stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think no one wanted to stop until they got there because they just can't believe why would something just ease. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And and things ease because they ease. Mm. The, the music industry isn't no promise thing. You know, mm. it's not like you put out one record, so you're supposed to put out a record every two years for the rest of your life. No, it's a chance. Mm. It's a moment when the vortex opens and it's going to happen, it happens. Mm. You can want it to happen your whole life. Yeah. You know, but it will happen when it's time and aligned to. So I think that's what's going on. But, you know, yeah. So what was the problem? If there was a problem, it was fixed mm. in the time. Mm. And now, with that being said, it. now you guys uh, come from an era with, with music where, you know, the the, the R&B singer, the neo soul singer, you, you know, it was a lot more mysteriousness going on with y'all. Mm, I like that choice. Yeah. You know, it, like well, people, you, you didn't really get a chance to get to know the artists. Mm. You know, y'all know what, 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 what we what the the label wants us to know about you guys. Yeah, to you know, a degree. The machine. And then on the on the on the ground level, though, our audience actually know us very well. Mm. Um, especially of the earlier days of Flowetry, Flowetry.net, our interaction with our incredible audience. Um, you know, it, we we were always more of a live experience. Mm. So then. Like I've always said, I'm not really a music industry person. I mm. have interaction with the industry. I do business. I'm a businesswoman, so I'll do interactions in that sense of projects that I have. But just kind of being in the industry, hanging out, for me, I kind of did that in high school, that type of, you know, being in a crew and everyone knowing who you are and all of that stuff. I really quenched that, mm. you know. So for me, this is more about art. It's about craft. And as an artist, I need real life. Mm. 
um, I love the lights and the cameras, and, and I'm there for it, and I enjoy it in its time. And it love you back. You know? But You're glowing. I, I, need, I need real life, and I think that that's something that assists me to be able to create, to therefore have something, because I, I better have some product. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, you better. I better have some. Yeah. Or don't just sit in people's faces and say, look at me, look at me, look mm -hmm. at me. You mm -hmm. know, go away live mm -hmm. have something and then interact with the people in an honest creative i can capacity, dig it i can know? dig it so do you feel any pressure with the the whole new social media wave and everything that you know to always post up what you got going on in your life on instagram or nah. you, you don't care about none of that it's not even just that i don't care i think the technology is great i love mm -hmm. the interaction capacity because you can be an independent artist now oh, you yeah, your own yeah, machine i love it I, you know i think that it's been a freedom it's mm -hmm. you know but i also love my alone time i love my time with my family i'm i don't want to expose the children in my family to anything too Thank too you. quick um so no i don't feel the need to do that with everything no mm. i don't i'm an analog girl in the digital world i live in the real world too much i forget that being said my manager tony douglas is an incredible um online mind and guru so he everyone will know the difference between when Tony started mm. <laughs> and the one social networker before I you'll be it. able to see it mm. you know but so I think it's a great tool mm. I think it's a great tool but I'm, I'm not pressed no okay well, well can I ask you some fans though I'm, as yeah. a fan I, I know you don't like me referring to myself as a fan uh, as some supporter stuff I, amen okay are you in a relationship you know what? I'm in a. Do you have kids? I don't have what's children. Your, yet. What's your favorite movie? My favorite. I don't have children yet. I am in a relationship. You are in a relationship? Indeed, I am. You should, but you deserve very, one. Thank you. You deserve that's it. That's a very beautiful thing to say. Thank you. I, I say beautiful things that. all the time. I receive that highly. Yes. I'm, I'm very blessed. Actually. You deserve love, girl. Um, thank you. Um, don't have children yet. Um, although I have many children, I'm very blessed. Lots of niece nephew godchildren that babies i'm very blessed in that way um favorite movie apocalypse okay okay uh, what favorite song Bob Marley and the whalers tunes well it's actually whalers back then um called put it on and it's it's just it just awakens me it balances out my energy it calms everything it brings clarity to me um and then uh, that's a lot of roots music for me though it just it just takes away all the fuzz what do you pray for I pray for, at this point in my life, for calm, patience, um, inner standing. I pray for the ability to submit to that which I claim to believe, you know, so that it's not a clash of, you know, when you get me in my deep space, I talk this way, but you can see me just wilding out over here. I want it all to be blended. I don't want it to just be talk. I want it to be word action, word, sound, power, you know? I pray for um, acceptance, like accept and balance, not just always thinking that you have to change the world in such an aggressive way that you're an aggressor anyway, like a different type of change, a change coming from being the difference you want to see, you know? I believe it's the time of the involution right now. I think the revolution has happened. I think it was successful. Um, all of those civil rights um, activists and activists at the time, I think, who've given their lives and given their energy, even those who are still here, they did their work and they did what was supposed to happen. I think we've all benefited off of it. I think now is a time of involution. So I pray for our ability to, to not be so distracted and to come inward, but at the same time, I pray for the humility to respect that everything's exactly as it's supposed to be. And it's like this because of what came in the past. So rather than just wanting it to go away, understanding it's why, why it's here so it doesn't get repeated. So I, I pray for those type of things. If your life was a movie, what would it be called? Flo, F-L-O. Mm. Do you know anybody that you had in mind to play you? I was going to say my nephew, but that's a bit confusing. Yeah, he's he a boy. <laughs> he, he is, he's def he, he a boy, right? He, he don't have to be you a boy if he don't want to be a possibly, boy. Po <laughs> possibly um, my little cousin, she's on her way up, uh, Sienna. She, she's a you really keep it inside the family and whatnot, huh? So it, I'm blessed to be able to. Okay. Now, when, when, you know you remind me of Lauren Hill a lot and everything. I'll take that gift, thanks. Because, like, with your background in theater and yeah. all that. So you originally wanted to be an actress. Oh, I, I studied You wasn't theater. chasing this. No, 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 not at all. I, this I, what God wanted you to go right here. In, yes. Mm. And um, I was I was submitting the craft. I was studying performance, and mm. my brother was a sound man, and my mom plays great music and mm. music, 
major influence in my life. Mm. I had a girl group in performing arts school and you know, all of that type of stuff. But no, this is my submission onto performance craft mm. that, that led me into this way. So I'm a multimedia artist. I, I'm, I'm a poet, I'm an actress, I'm a, um, I, I dance, I paint, I sing. Um, what about activism? That's, that's art for me is activism. So mm. yes, I'm into activism, but I, um, I'm not political. Mm. Um, I've become less and less political as I've got older. I don't believe there's any emancipation through the system. I think it's quite distracting. Mm. Um, but I, I, I respect the, the alignment and the orders of everything and how we do things. But I'm in more of an observation seat now. Younger, I thought that there was, you know, what have I got to do, let's go. Now I realize now there's much more to it than that. Mm. There's, there's much more to it than just bringing another set of aggressive opinion to the party. There's already too much of that. You're a real, uh, a real actress. So we in a day and time of reality shows. Could you see yourself doing uh, a poetry reality show where you get in the house with about five other poets and you know you do a cattle call with them all Absolutely. across the world? And Absolutely. I have my flow poets at home right now. They're ready for that already. We got a good a good hundred poets at home ready for that. Mm -hmm. It's about um, time to put them out, man. Yeah, we wanna, I want to see you on TV every week. Oh, good you know, day. discovering that next big poet. Uh, oh, absolutely. You're speaking about things that that we we're putting in motion as, okay. as as we sit. You know, so yeah, hundred percent. I would do something like that. Acting's an interesting one because you know, during my study, the one thing that I came across was feeling a lack in this kind of chauvinistic, Eurocentric. You know, how many roles are you going to play? Who wrote them? I've got to play roles being constantly written for other people and I, there's things I, I find more interesting and that was what, when I finally became a performance poet, that was the savior for me is that I could explore my own language and therefore not have to be pigeonholed into the one or two characters that they give us, you know? That is, uh, you know, when you put it like that, there's a bunch of different movies in every poem. Is there a couple of little bars that we could borrow from you? You just borrowed the thing, right? Did you hear that? I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, There's I'm, a couple of little movies in every poem. Yeah, you do. You, you be acting them things. I was backstage the other night at your show, and I was, you was touching my soul. Give thanks. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah so is there, um, like, a couple of little uh, a poem that, or whatnot that we could borrow at thisis50.com? Like some little, a haiku, it don't even have to be. He said, um, or a haiku. Um, do you want me to do The it? grass. You want me to do it? Thank you. Okay, I got one for you. All right. <laughs> the only shortcut in life is to accept that there are no shortcuts in life. Wow. Wow, I, you know what, I'll I be trying That's to say mine. that. I'm not even trying to take it. Man, this nigga here. <laughs> It's just that it's such a truth that sometimes you could lose yourself trying to claim truths that are bigger than just you saying them. Right, you know? right, right. I could dig that. So I'm trying to say that thing exists outside of me right in the equation, you know? I it's got a you. truth. So the, 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 the only shortcut in life is knowing there are no shortcuts. There's only the way there. Mm. And usually when you're looking for shortcuts, you take a longer route anyway, mm. you know? Man, you're extremely deep. Growing up, watching you. And doing what you do and everything. One thing I always wanted to know: what kind of guys are you into? We the, for the guys that wanted to know, did they have have, have a chance? Can you tell us what you like? Um, what I, I should have did? <laughs> I like, I like honesty. So you're doing good there. Um, I like um, people who understand what it is to be divinely masculine. You know who understand that balance, that there's love and nurture in, in there, um, and, and that there's safety in there, and not having to be worried about the emotional imbalance and scars that we may both hold. So um, I like communication, I like interesting people, I like, um, you know, people just unafraid of being themselves and then also who are unafraid of someone else being them, so. Man, I know you got some more famous shit to do. I'm not gonna hold you up. Oh, I think I got a show to do. I swear I'm about to put this down and walk on the stage. Yeah, so let's go ahead and make that happen right there. Let's not keep our audience waiting. Is there anything you'd like to say to our audience, man, before we get up um, our shit? Just um, peace, love, happiness, blessings, and you know, be well. Oh, I love 50, man. Uh -huh. I spoke to him once on the phone. I haven't seen him since. Man, we just a block away. If you come back in town, we got to make that happen. Apparently, he loved Floetic. 
Get out of here. Yeah, apparently he loved Floetic. I remember them telling us that in the scope. And that was when I got to speak to him on the phone. I haven't seen him since. Dope, dope. We're going we gonna to fix that. Well, like I always say, you just can't say you're real or something you got to be, man. We open, we out of here. Do I have something in mind? Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Thank <laughs> you.